Hi, Colorful Roots family. It's your girl, B. I'm so excited because today we have Felicia Pearson. She is the owner of Dedicated Educators, and she's here for our Colorful Roots, Colorful Convos. And we are going to talk to her about her business, learn more about tutoring services, and find out what inspired her and what kind of services she can offer our community. So without further ado, I don't wanna take up too much time because we really wanna hear from you. So Ms. Felicia, please tell us a little bit about yourself, about your business and what inspired you to start your tutoring service. Hello family, so my name is Felicia. Um, I was inspired to start Dedicated Educators because I've been teaching since I was a teenager and um, I'm actually a practicing attorney. So once I finished law school, I started teaching and tutoring through different companies where they would sort of connect you with the client and then you would consult with the client and kind of um, tutor them or career coach or whatever they needed. Um, so while I was working through a few different companies, I actually ended up having a conversation with one of my clients and she told me, you know, I really do need uh, the help and it's been great working with you, but I am going to have to stop. And I said, why? And she told me, well, you know, it's a little bit too expensive for me right now. And so that whole time, it never dawned on me, you know, how much the companies were charging the clients versus how much the actual educators were being paid. It just, it never even occurred to me. So when she said that, I said to her, well, you know, how much are they charging you? And I discovered that uh, the companies that I was working for and working through as a contractor, I guess I should say, they were charging a ridiculous amount of money per hour. I mean, in the hundreds per hour. Um, and only paying the educators 30 to 40 per hour. And of course, this didn't include mileage or anything like that. So I realized that it was really a total loss for everyone. The students are losing because they can't afford what they need. And the teachers are losing because we're not getting paid anywhere near what the company is receiving from students. So that's what inspired me to start Dedicated Educators. Wow. So you're talking about like hundreds of dollars per hour? Per hour and paying the actual tutor 30 to 40 per hour at best. So I'm trying to figure out who can afford <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And, you know, it was really a revelation for me because I was volunteering as well at this time. So I never really stopped to look at the demographic of the volunteer students that I taught and the students that I taught through the company. So that conversation with that client was like a total revelation because quite frankly, she was the only ethnic client that I had. Like all of my clients were, were non-ethnic. Um, and this was actually a Hispanic college student, you know, the young woman who told me I can't afford it anymore. So it's like everything that the wheels just started spinning and everything just dawned on me at once. And I realized that none of the paying clients from these companies are ethnic people. And the people that I volunteer teaching for free tend to be a demographic that, you know, looks more like me. So it all kind of dawned on me at once that it's probably that people who need these services can't afford them because these companies are charging so much. And so, you know, again, like I, I was saying, it's a total loss. It's students can't afford it and teachers aren't being paid enough. I guess so. Like I'm scared to ask for a consultation because that's going to be like $150. Yeah. yeah. So how do you do things differently now that you have your own, you know, business? How do you structure your business? So the biggest thing for me in transitioning from working for these companies to working for myself is I wanted to be sure that I was able to help people who actually need the help. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that was the biggest thing for me with the large companies is, like I said, that their prices are just ridiculous. So I started to look at prices of the larger companies. I first started, when I first started Dedicated Educators, I started rather small. I really only offered resume and cover letter services just to really get it on the ground floor and, and start um, at a smaller level and kind of work my way up. So the first thing I did was I went to some of the larger companies and I actually got quotes from them, you know, to see, well, how much would you charge me to do a resume and a cover letter? That makes sense. And I saw that the major companies were $275, $295, $300 for a resume and a cover letter. And I thought, wow, someone who's looking for a job probably can't afford to give you $300 for a resume and a cover letter. So once I saw that price, then I started to wonder, okay, well, how much could I reasonably 
ask for of a client mm -hmm. where I am still as a businesswoman able to support myself, but they are now able to afford the service. So I started to crunch the numbers and that's how I came out with the prices that we currently have for resume and cover letter. And I've done that with every single, every single service that we offer. Our resumes start at 70. Um, that's normally the price unless it's something extremely specialized such as engineering or um, something in the medical field. We have a resume and cover letter package that is anywhere from 85 to 90 you know, depending on um, what, as I said, your resume contains and what type of position you're going for. So I literally get quotes from these large companies and I try to at least cut it in half. Um, and I also let my clients know that I know life happens because I'm living real life just like you are. You know, I'm not a robot, I'm not a corporation. And the door is always open for a client to tell me, you know, um, can I talk to you about what I can and can't afford? Can we work something out? Can we barter? Can I do it in payments? You know, it, I am extremely flexible because I want to make sure that people who need this can get this help. Yeah, and so it sounds to me like you have um, more than just tutoring services then because, I mean, that's a great service for adults as well. And it's not like a continuous fee. You pay that fee, you handle that for them, and then they're good to go. So do you have a pretty wide range of students or, you know, people that you're able to service? Like if I had a five-year-old or, you know, how does that work exactly? So um, absolutely. Um, our website, it's dedicatededucators.com. And it is a total walkthrough of everything we offer for every age group. Uh, we start on our homepage where we literally have it broken down by age group. So we have, you know, K through 12 and we show, you know, we offer tutoring. These are the different tutoring services that we offer. And then we have college, you know, and what we can offer a college student. And we have even beyond college and what we can offer that age group. Um, for K through 12, it's virtual tutoring. It's reading and writing, English composition, virtual courses in mock trial and debate, virtual courses in public speaking, and virtual courses in um, creative writing. The biggest thing that has been super popular is the mock trial and debate class. Um, it is amazing. I was just telling one of my clients yesterday that the mock trial class is like a secret weapon. You know, you're teaching elementary school students, middle school, and sometimes even high school, you're yeah. teaching them reading, writing, critical analysis, and public speaking all at the same time, and it doesn't feel like a chore. Everyone is having a good time, you know, because they're, they're in this this role play, if you will, you know, where they're pretending to be an attorney or they're pretending to be a judge. And it doesn't feel like I'm sitting in this virtual classroom today. And now my teacher's going to ask me a question. And now I'm going to respond. <laughs> and then I know I'm going to have homework, right? So um, for K through 12, the virtual courses have been through the roof. We've been having a lot of fun with those college and beyond that's where we get into the resumes and the cover letters but we've gone even further than that you know with my experience in corporate america another thing that i, I came to realize that i was disheartened by was the pay disparity between um executives and attorneys of color and their counterparts and so i know there are a lot of things that play with that but one of the main things that i realized is that part of what's at play is we aren't really taught, and when I say we, I mean um, our community, we aren't really taught to sell ourselves. We're not taught to view ourselves as a brand and know what you bring to the table. And so part of what we offer college and beyond um, is salary negotiation coaching, where I literally sit and coach the person, what is your profession? So for example, I worked with a fellow attorney and she's an associate in a law firm. So I said to her, well, day to day, what do you do? And she said, well, I'm always communicating with clients. I'm negotiating settlements with um, adversaries. So I told her, go into the system, pull your best work, pull one of your best motions, one of your best uh, negotiations, one of your best mediation statements. We're going to put them together and we will add to that a one page letter telling your boss or your, your supervisor or whoever you want to address it to what you want this year, meaning I've worked for you for a year and now I'm asking for uh, a, this percentage pay raise and a, this amount in bonus and attach your best work to that. So it is a literally a totally inclusive company at this point. I can work with everyone from the child in the family all the way up through the parents and grandparents. That's, that's how far we've come now. That is amazing. 
I really love that you said that because you know sometimes we just look at things on the surface but that is very true a lot of times we don't know how to present you know to our employers you know some type of way of how we want to get a raise. I think we get really kind of caught up, a little nervous, or don't know how to say it, but if you're able to package it in such a way to actually ask and then have all of the backup, I'm sure that's a lawyer in you <laughs> with the backup, but right. yeah, I mean, I can see how that can make a difference, you know, instead of just saying, hey, I'd like to get an extra couple dollars, you know, I think I'm good, but you're not really explaining what you've done with all of the information and presenting it in a way that would actually be able to give you the results you want. So, love that. So, I'm trying to figure out because um, I've never used a tutor outside, like in high school, way back in the day. So, how is it structured? Do you have like a certain amount of sessions that would be included? Do you go for like a semester with the student? How does that break down? So it's based upon the need of the student. You know? So I've worked with students who had a very specific need. It's I'm taking the NJ ASK, which is a, a standardized test in New Jersey, and I just need you to prepare me for the essay portion of that. And so we knew when the test was, we knew we would do one session per week, and we knew what we were going to work on. I would create a personalized curriculum as to what we needed to work on, which I did for that, uh, that client, and I do for every client. So it depends on the need. I mean, if the need is extremely specific, such as there's a certain exam coming up, we can work with that timeline. If the need is even more specific, such as you think that you want to go session by session, you know, if you say, well, really, I just want to work on this particular assignment that's due Friday. Okay, then you can purchase one session and we can work on that and you can uh, purchase more when the need arises, or you can go more long term depending on what your goal is. So to me, I feel like, um, you, you do both virtual and one-on-one, -on -one, right? Right. So uh, the one-on-one -on -one services are based in New York and New Jersey because that's my, you know, that's my area. Mm -hmm. um, I have gone as far as Philadelphia, PA, you know, depending on what the need was. But of course, that affects uh, the pricing, you know. So, um, but especially in these times, we've really been focused on going virtual. It cuts back on the cost for everyone. You know, I'm able to charge less. And I'm also able to be um, be interactive with the student at the same time. So we're, we're trying to focus on virtual, but if you're in the New York, New Jersey area, once all of this other stuff dies down, <laughs> we are available to um, coach in person and tutor in person. Yeah, so that kind of leads me to my new question. Um, just kind of on a personal, you know, your business and everything, how has this COVID-19 slash coronavirus Last lockdown impacted your business and your work? Um, so from my business perspective, I've seen good things and bad things, you know, um, to kind of get the bad out of the way. Yeah. Um, you know, many people who are in the college and beyond group, you know, uh, they're either being laid off or they're no longer looking for work because there's nothing available right now. Um, you know, and things like that have affected the amount of clients that I'm getting in that age group. But on the flip side of that, you know, many parents are now kind of being just thrust into homeschooling. Wow. And it's a shell shock for them. You know, it's, I've never had to homeschool my child before. That's a teacher's job. That's their thing. Right. And now I, ha I have my child home with me all day and expecting me to know how to help them with these things. And I'm also working at home, right? Because many parents aren't just sitting at home all day. They have to work from home and the child is at home homeschooling. So what we've seen is an, an increase in the demand for the virtual tutoring, the virtual homework help, uh, the one-on-one -on -one, um, virtual sessions to work on specific assignments, and a major increase in the virtual courses. You know, just something to kind of keep the children busy when they're at home. We have a Saturday and Sunday mock trial and debate virtual class, and that's been very popular, you know, because it kind of replaces the outside things that your children used to do. You know, so if you used to take your son to soccer or, you know, used to take your daughter to dance, now they're doing the virtual mock trial. So it's, they're still engaged, they're still having fun. Parents have their time and the kids have their time too. Yeah, so with that, now is it just one student, you and the student, or is it like several students that are a part of this interacting with each other? How does that work? 
So the virtual courses, there's always, you know, everything that, um, and this is all laid on our website as well. Everything that we offer, we always have the option of either individual or group. Um, everything can be tailored to the individual, especially because I not only have I done, um, you know, not only am I a licensed attorney, but I've done the speech and debate competitions myself as well. So I know how to tailor anything to a specific person. Um, but if the person, the student comes with a group of other students, it reduces the pricing for all the students involved and that it increases the engagement for them because it's not just you and I sitting here, you know what I mean? But I'm able to do that with the public speaking and able to do speech and debate with the one-on-one. -on -one. The mock trial is usually a group of students who have come together. Um, in certain instances, I've been able to connect students, but it's usually better when it's, it's a group that has some type of background and they come together and they want to do the class together. So that's, it's, it's you know, um, a variety. Yeah, so when it comes to like parents, like we were just talking about how this whole thing, parents are being thrusted into the position of now being the teacher, now trying to adjust to working from home and all of these things, I just, talked to one of my girlfriends and she was telling me how, you know, she's trying to do this thing. She said, I had a good day, Brandy. You know, I have the five-year-old down doing this and I had the eight-year-old together doing that. And then five minutes later, here comes the five-year-old. And then after I get the five-year-old back over there, then here comes the eight-year-old and I'm trying to do my work. And she was like, yeah, I was doing really well two days ago. Haven't gotten back to it. So do you like have any suggestions because some people have more than one child and different age ranges of education and what they need like do you have any suggestions for parents do you do any like consultation like any words of wisdom for parents just out here <laughs> trying to figure it out absolutely so um i offer free consultations for every service you know, so um, that's a you're able to consult with me and talk to me about anything you think you need, you know, and we're able to work out something that is individualized for you that would work for you. You know, what I could recommend for a parent who's kind of going through that where, you know, you have more than one child and it's this and it's that what you may actually need is someone to step in and do individual assignment help. You know, so let's say the eight-year-old is working on um, a reading book workbook right now. He's, he or she is going to have questions. You know, we know that's going to happen. So like you were describing, your girlfriend can't really get her work done because whenever he has a question, he has to come over to her. And then she also has a five-year-old. So um, that's kind of why we offer the individual virtual assignment help because something like that would help a parent in that situation. You could buy a session or however long you think you might need, which again, we are super flexible. I am extremely accessible and I'm always willing to tailor anything we offer to make sure that it's helping you and it's giving you whatever you need. So, you know, for example, your girlfriend could reach out to me and say, you know, I like to purchase a session or two, particularly for when my eight-year-old is working on the reading workbook, because I noticed that he has a lot of questions with that. And it becomes a distraction for me and I can't focus on him and my other little one at the same time, you know. Um, and what we've also been doing is we know that a lot of families have been extremely financially affected by this COVID-19, you know, situation. And so what we've also been doing is in our free consultation, we have a portion of the consultation where we discuss that. You know, and if we're able to ascertain that you've been financially affected by COVID-19, then we're able to talk about an entirely different discount for you. That gets you into a totally different price range um, because we're sensitive to the fact that a lot of people are not in the same financial situation as they were before, particularly parents. So one question I have, I'm going to keep you forever, but I'm just so interested. <laughs> it's okay. And I know these are questions that people will probably have. What does it look like trying to get a five-year-old to sit in front of the computer and communicate with you? Like, I mean, how does that work? Because yeah. we have to just sit first. <laughs> Do you throw a toy in front of them? Do we give them a toy? How does that work? What does that look like? Yeah, so the younger children, 
of course, you know, and I would be remiss to not uh, admit that you have to do more to get the younger children engaged. But yeah. wonderful tools like Zoom make that so much more possible. You know, what I found with uh, the younger that the children get, so with the five-year-olds and the six-year-olds, you have to merge things they're interested in to get them engaged, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm able to pull bits and pieces of shows that they like to watch from YouTube and bits and pieces of music from the shows that they like and integrate that into the lesson. I'm able to get them more engaged by getting them to talk to me about what they like. So the biggest thing for children that young is you can't make it a rigid chore. They need an extremely personalized curriculum, everything. You have to take it literally day by day with a child that young. You know, so you can have your goals for the day, but first, how are you? You know, what did you do today? Oh, I see you're playing with something. What is that? Can you show me? You know, how long have you had that? And merge that into what it is that we're trying to work on, particularly with the reading and the writing, it's so easy to do that. It's so easy to merge in whatever the child loves, play videos, play songs in between through share screen on Zoom, which is awesome. And now you have them more engaged. Now they're talking about something they're interested in. They're doing something they're interested in. You can play virtual reading and writing games together through the share screen as well. So you got to do a little bit more to get the younger children engaged, but it's possible. It can be done. Well, that, that makes it make sense, you know, how to kind of pull them in. And I mean, the kids are kind of used to, you know, interacting with technology, you know. So we can't say that they're not familiar with technology. Shoot, by like eight, a lot of these kids already have a cell phone. So absolutely, there you have it. Well, I mean, do you have any other nuggets that you want to give us? I'm not going to keep you forever, but we definitely want to make sure that we know everything, you know, about your business. I'm excited about having you on the marketplace. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. The community. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, we've got your website. Can you give us more information, like your social media? So Absolutely. So that to you and use your services. So we are on Instagram. Dedicated Educators. It's spelled exactly as it sounds. It's D-E-D-I-C-A-T-E-D-E-D-U-C-A-T-O-R-S. So Dedicated Educators. Um, our little logo is there. It's a light bulb, you know, like when your light bulb goes off. <laughs> so you can follow us. The page is open. We sometimes do free lives uh, with certain information as well. So we did actually a free legal Q&A uh, because I was speaking to a few parents who told me that they're wondering, well, you know, what are my rights are, you know, during this quarantine time? And I thought, well, I'm, I'm an attorney, you know, in my, in my, I guess you could call it day job. I mean, but this is my day job. I, I'm not sure how you would say that, but um, we also do every Saturday some type of live for free. So a couple weeks ago, we did essay 101, you know, how to ace the essay. Before that, we did five tips to, you know, mastering your resume and making your resume stand out, you know. So if I could give you any nuggets, I would say follow us on Instagram right. and book a free consultation. If there's anything that we offer, anything from classes to tutoring to resume to mock interviews salary negotiation, anything at all that you think you could benefit from, you have nothing to lose because it's, it's not going to cost you anything, you know? And um, lastly, on topic, but off topic, you know, be kind to each other, be patient. I know it's not easy because you're used to running around all day and, and now you're kind of trapped, you know, in the house with each other all day but <laughs> be patient with each other that's the the biggest uh nugget of advice i would give you is that patience in this time goes a long way definitely a lot a lot of patience and, and again like you said there's some positives to what's happening now too so making sure that we're thinking about those positives we keep our creative juices flowing that we make the use out of this time most definitely so speaking of time thank you so much for your time um colorful roots family go to www.colorfulrootsmarketplace you can learn more about felicia she has a profile on there along with a lot of other very valuable business owners if you have a business and you're interested in participating in an interview or being part of our community please make sure that you reach out um other than that, we're going to sign off. Thank you so much, Felicia, for your time. I'm so excited about ded dedicated educators, and I will definitely be sharing your business as I already have, and I will be doing more in the future. So 
Thank you so much. Thank Have you.